What's up Trophy Hunter, welcome to my full platinum walkthrough for Silver Chains. There is no fighting or something, but sometimes you get chased by the mother. You can only escape her by hiding. One trophy requires that you never get caught by the mother, but this is very easy, because she only appears during scripted parts of the game. And I will always give you an in-game warning before she appears. This walkthrough is with commentary, so it should be easy to follow. Right at the start, walk towards the mansion. You can run by pressing the left stick. So go through the door in front of you and through the next door as well. Now pick up the scissors and the first collectible from the door. Now go back to the room where you woke up. Now turn right and go into the room with the doll parts. Now cut down the torchlight hanging next to the door parts. Now go back to the room where we picked up the first collectible. Open the door next to the door with the scissors and crawl through the hole. Turn on the torchlight to enter the room. Now go through the door and walk to the end of the hallway and take the door to the left. What was that? Go straight to the next room. Now turn left and pick up the note on the floor. Now turn around and go back to the previous room. Pick up the second collectible from the tea table. Now deactivate the gramophone and enter the bathroom to your right. Inspect the bath tube. Now interact with the paper boat. Now turn the paper boat and interact with it again. Now you can leave the bathroom. Now go in front of the fireplace and pick up the poker. Now go back to the room where you picked up the note on the floor. So now there should be a second note. Pick it up, turn around and interact with it with the cross button. Now pick up the key and go through the door in front of you. Now push the small box on the right below the hole.
Now interact with the hole in the wall and try to reach the key with the poker. Now go back and leave the room. Now you can open the door to your left. Go through the door and go downstairs. Turn left and go through the door. Turn left and pick up the collectible on top of the stove. Now turn right and check the left side of the door. You will see some names, interact with it to unlock a trophy. Now go through the door, turn right, go through the double doors. Now walk towards the girl and use the door on her right side. Now turn right and check the piano for another collectible. Now play the piano for a few seconds and stop playing by pressing the circle button. Now leave the room at the other end and go upstairs. As soon as you go upstairs, you will encounter the mother for the first time. Just run and hide in the closet at the top of the stairs. Now wait till she is gone and leave the closet. Now enter the room on the right side of the closet. Now pick up the lever in front of the lamp. Now go back to the closet and push it to the left. So now the mother will appear again, so just run straight forward through the first door. Straight forward again and hide in the closet. Now simply wait till she is gone. Now leave the closet and pick up another collectible from the teacher's desk. Now check the classroom, you can find a book on the second desk. Interact with it. After reading the note, the room will change. So the next step is we need to find three photo snippets. The first one can be found on the teacher's desk. Now turn right and check the shelf. And the last one is on the other side of the room, in the left corner. Now turn around and interact with the blackboard. Now turn around and leave the classroom. Go left to the end of the hallway and enter the left room.
Now use the lever on the lamp right to the fireplace. Now enter the hidden door and discover the solution of the lamp riddle and pick up the collectible. Now go all the way back to the room with the lamp in the middle where you got the lever from. Interact with the lamp, turn the lamp 5 times clockwise, 3 times anti-clockwise and 6 times clockwise. Pick up the key and go back to the classroom. Now turn right and open the door in front of you with the key. Go through the door and left into the next room. Pick up the monocle that is hanging on the wall. Now use it with the R1 button. Now you can see a rune on the floor, stand on it. Align yourself with the arrow. Now go 4 steps straight forward and 2 steps to the right. Now look on the wall. Now interact with the Witcher board. You need to interact with it a few times to get through some dialogue. Now go back to the room with the stairs. Now go downstairs and pick up the head of the broken statue. Now turn around and go upstairs. Now take the right path. Now go left. Now go straight forward till you reach the last lamp on the left side. Now turn around. Go back and enter the room to your right. So for the next step you need to be fast because mother will appear. Interact with the painting and then hide quickly in the closet. Now go back to the room with the stairs and go all the way down the stairs. Now take the left path and go straight forward through the door.
check the desk for another collectible. Now interact with the painting and solve the puzzle. Now go all the way back to the room with the Witcher board. Interact with the Witcher board a few times to get through some dialogue. So now we have to go back upstairs. So now take the right path. Now turn left and go to the end of the hallway. So before you go through the next door, a few important things. To unlock the next trophy you need to get through the room in less than 60 seconds. The trophy description says you need to get through the room in less than 30 seconds, but this is a typo. It's actually 60 seconds. So I recommend that you watch the video a few times before you go into the room. If you did not unlock the trophy by the end of the room, do not pick up the door part, quit back to the main menu and press continue for another chance. So once you did not unlock the trophy here, quit back to the main menu and press continue. Pick up the door part and go through the door. Go through the next door and you will find yourself in a hallway. Now go back to the Witcher board. Interact with the Witcher board again. So now go back to the glass room. Go left, straight forward. Now turn right and go through the door to your left. Now pick up the collectible that can be found on the table. Now turn left and push the chest of drawers. Now interact with the hole in the wall. Now simply chase the little ghost kid to the third floor. Now go towards the ladder to the attic. Turn around and go back to the room with the Witcher board. Interact with the Witcher board a few times to get a key. Are they? 
Now go all the way back to the room where you encountered mother for the first time. In this room you need to use the key to open the door to the library. Now go towards the bookshelves, turn right and take the second left, interact with the wall. Now pick up the key and turn around. Pick up the flowers in front of you and leave the library. Now go all the way back to the video board. Now go back to the room with the stairs. Go right through the door, turn left, go to the end of the hallway and go left through the door. Now crawl through the hole. Enter the next room and interact with the musical clock. Now you have to complete a minigame, just press the buttons which appears on the screen. Be careful after you completed the minigame and picked up the brooch, mother will appear. So quick hide in the closet to your left. Don't worry, she will caught you, but this is a part of the story. Now walk towards the tree and pick up the collectible from the tree. Now turn around and interact with the body to get another collectible and a ring. So before doing anything else, turn around and pick up the two collectibles in the room. One is on the sewing machine table and the second one is on a nightstand. Now check the box by the bed and pick up the knife. In this area you need to chase down the two doors and kill them with the axe. You can swing the axe with the R2 button.
Once you killed both doors, go back to the first room where you started. After the cutscene, check the war behind the drawer. Controlled her eyes and played a cruel game with her. I need to finish this. So now we're here back again. Just leave the room. Now turn around and go right. Now go towards to the ghost. You betrayed us. No. I didn't betray you. I was deceived. But I will rectify everything. Your side is Georgie. He will not the spell that the left hand in half. And now he will take all our souls. Now he can't be stopped. Your good thought of the died because of this. And I will try to stop this evil. This is your favorite toy. You left it here. You need it for protection. And I found this paper in the things of your mother. It's very important. Now pick up the toy and walk further until the way is blocked and you have to crawl. Now interact with the book on the floor, pick up the flower and now walk further until you reach the attic entrance. Now turn around and enter the first room to your right. Pick up the last collectible on the table and after that interact with the boar. If I found this part of the diary earlier, I wouldn't have been deceived by that damn doll. Now turn around and go all the way back to the room where you started the game. Now push the box of drawers aside and crawl through the hole. Now go upstairs. Now turn right and interact with the first statue to put the head on it. Now interact with the statue again. There are two more statues you have to interact with it. Now turn around and go through the hidden door into the next room. Now pick up the flower from the desk. Turn around and leave the room. Turn right and go through the door. Now keep going straight forward.
Turn right and interact with the door. Enter the code 9, 6, 8 and 9. Go through the door and pick up another flower. Now go back to the second floor. Enter the classroom and turn left. Go straight forward. Now turn left and press the R1 button to reveal a secret ladder. Now climb down the ladder. So now comes the only tricky part in the game where you have to escape the mother by running. Feel free to make a backup save. Otherwise stop playing now and watch the video. After you pick up the flower mother will appear. Try to run out of the room using the furniture in the middle as obstacles for the mother. Run out of the room, turn left and run up the stairs. Run forward into the classroom and hide in the closet to your right. Once she's gone, go back to the attic. Now go to the ritual circle and put all items inside. Now position yourself in the middle of the circle with candles, interact with the circle 5 times. Now turn around and interact with the door. Now bring him to the red circle. Now run down the hallway and take the last door on the left. Now run down the hallway and take the last door on the right. Now run down the hallway and take the first door on the left. Go towards the table and pick up the photo. Now turn around and leave the room. Now run down the hallway and take the first door on the right. Mother, 
real quick. Now run down the hallway and take the last door on the left. After a small cutscene you have to run away one more time from mother. Once you finish talking, turn around and run down the hallway and hide in the closet. It's important as soon as you unlock the trophy trickster, pause the game and quit back to the main menu. So hide in the closet, mother will find you but this is a part of the game. Now you should unlock the trophy memory and after that you should unlock the trophy trickster. As soon as you got the trickster trophy, quit back to the main menu. Now press continue because now we're going for the trophy victim. We have to die by the hands of the mother. Unfortunately, the checkpoint is really bad. Walk down the hallway and take the last door on the left. Walk down the hallway and take the last door on the right. Run down the hallway and take the first door on the left. Pick up the photo from the table. Leave the room, run down the hallway and take the first door on the right. So now run down the hallway and take the last door on the left. This time do not run away from mother. Let mother kill you. So unfortunately we have now to do the same thing again. Repeat the previous steps but this time you have to run away from mother and hide in the closet.
Now run down the hallway and pick up the boar. So in the next part of the game it's possible that you will die a few times. But we got a checkpoint here so it's not a big deal. You need to find a few items but be careful an enemy is chasing you. Right at the beginning of the game press the R1 button to use your monocle. Hold down the cross button and put aside the wreckage to take the brooch. It's not possible to do this in one go. So turn around and run away from the enemy. Run in circle and try to get the brooch at the next try. Once you picked up the brooch, take the path to the right. Now crawl under the beams again and pick up the toy from the couch to your left. So the last item you need to find is the boar. The boar is next to broken steam pipes. So before you can pick up the boar you have to close two ventiles. Press the R1 button and use your monocle to find them. After closing the two ventiles you can pick up the boar. Once you picked up the boar, run back to the circle. Now place the items inside the circle again and now lead the monster into the red circle. Now step into the yellow circle. So that's it. I hope this guide could help you guys. Thanks for the attention. See you in my next one.